Ah, yes, another beautiful morning in RuneScape. We just got done with our last day grinding out of leagues. I started like literally on New Year's, so I was very far behind. But we were able to get all of the cosmetics we wanted, except for the ornate pool, which would have been really cool, but that's all right. We got the, uh, the high alchemy one, as well as the home teleport, and the death animation as well, although hopefully we don't die, but it's been a little while since I've touched this account regularly, because I've just been grinding leagues for a little bit, so I'm a little disoriented, but... During the whole leagues, I just kept making jute fibers because at the end of last episode, I was kind of getting into the drift net fishing, and I think I'm going to do some more of that just to get started and get some stats up because, yeah, we've been a little bit dormant lately, so let's get started with some of that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to point out, we did also get the two sweet cosmetics for the uh, bulwark as well as the blowpipe, so... Not quite there yet, but that'll give me some motivation to st start getting some cocks and maybe some Zolra out of the way sometime soonish. We got the stats for it. We don't have the gear for it yet, but we'll get there. We had a medium sitting in our bank from before league, so let's see what we get. Something new at least. Okay, so we are starting out at 71 fishing and 75 hunter. Really, I'm here because I want to get to the point where I could finally get dragon implings, and we just need to start getting better food, so. Well, a few hours later, we are all out of nets. Oh, look at that. And another seaweed spore. And we are pretty close to 78 hunter, which is pretty sweet. That's... The minimum we could boost to get the Dragon Impling, although I'm probably not going to boost for it. Really, I want to get 80 at some point, and then probably just do Herbivore for a, a ton of herbs, and do that maybe to 83 if I really get a bug for it. But for now, we're out of nets. That's enough for now. Oh yeah, how much? Uh, also 73 fishing, so not too bad. Well, that's about the easiest quest ever, and the first time I've done one without a guide in a long time, but... The new quest out for the Valamore region that they're going to be dropping at some point, probably in the first half of the year, it sounds. So, got that one out of the way, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do now. Maybe look at the hard diaries? I'm kind of feeling like some diaries. So I decided I'm going to start out with the Varrock hard diaries, and I need to get a couple more kudos, so I'm just doing some fossils here. I'm going to do as many as I can, and then, oh, not this floor, we got to go down one more. Hopefully I can use all the experience lamps to get me up to 70 crafting or close, because I think I need that for the hard lumbridge diaries, so that's the goal. We'll see if we can get enough XP in the lamps to get us close to 70, and then... I don't know, I don't think I'll get there, but if not, we'll we'll try and finish out the grind with something. Well, it looks like I cannot do these last ones until I get a fossilized limb, so let's see how much experience we get. So we're starting off 67. We'll get at least one level. I don't think we'll get two, though. Let's see. Well, never mind. Not even one level. That hurts. Okay, so we're not going to get enough to get up to 70, but maybe there'll be other hard diaries that'll get us a little bit closer. We'll see which ones we can all do at this point. This should be it to get us the hard diaries, I believe. Yes, that is it for the hard diaries. Let's go get our lamp. We're still quite a ways off from 70 crafting, but... We'll get there. I think we can get some other hard diaries done still, so we might should be able to get a little bit closer. So in order to do the candor and hard diaries, I need to get 70 fletching and 75 smithing. They're both boostable, but I might as well just get them anyways. Pretty close on the smithing. Fletching, I guess, also kind of close, so I'm going to do a little bit of fletching and a little bit of smithing. Hopefully we can get that up quick. I'm not going to lie, Leagues has kind of got me a little disoriented back here on the main game, so I don't really know what to do, and that's kind of why I'm knocking out a lot of these quests, or sorry, not quests, these achievement diaries right now. Honestly, it's just because, like, I feel like the game feels almost foreign after doing Leagues for a while, so I don't want to do any, like, dangerous content and 
just die right away. So I kind of want to ease back into the game. And, you know, these are kind of things I've wanted to get done for a while anyways. We've just been putting them off. So hopefully we can get a bunch of these done. I know I can't get all of them because I still need, like, shield left, right, half for that one. But hopefully most of the rest of these. I don't know about wilderness yet, but I'm feeling like we're going to get a lot of diaries done this episode. And there is 75 smithing. I have to say, I feel bad for anybody who went for like 99 smithing before Giant's Foundry, especially if you were an Iron Man. It's so easy. I wasn't even like, this was really chill and I was still getting 160k XP an hour and like I was taking breaks in between and everything. And we topped off the cash stack as well. On to fletching. I've been doing a little bit of AFK fletching here, slowly getting it up to 70. Also, uh, you know, when I'm actively playing, I've been working on other diaries as well. So we're one off of the desert and also like the Karamja, I believe. But we all we have left is to kill Calphite. And really, I should just go do Beneath Curse Sands and get the Karis Partisan before I do it. But I only need one kill. So instead, according to the wiki, the barrel chest anchor is actually halfway decent. So I'm going to go get my barrel chest anchor repaired and we're going to get one Calphite Queen kill out of the way. About the Iron Man mode, this is the gear we have decided to go with to try and get our one Calphite kill. As you can see, it's real jank. So honestly, I'm not an idiot. I tried to do a test run on my main just to see if I'm just going in to get slaughtered or not. It's not going to be the easiest kill here. Honestly, I should just get the quest out of the way for the Cares Partisan, but I think I can get the kill with this, so I just don't feel like doing that quest right now, so I'm going to try and get it. If not, I might come back to this later, but you, you never see this main game, <laughs> this gear setup, and then here's our range setup for the second half here, so simple switches. I'm not going to prayer flick at all. I'm just going to focus on staying alive because this thing can hit, but... Let's go ahead and turn our camera, free camera movement off, because that's not going to help us during the fight. Pre-pot up, and then grab some more food. The way you walk with this thing is phenomenal. One of the best weapons in the game. Alright, we need to save up our run, actually, though, so I need to stop running. Getting impatient. We should have enough run. Actually, we'll probably run out, but that's okay. We can get through the fight without run. We absolutely have to. That's fine. Okay, first big hit on us. Okay, we good. Ouch. Big hits. We want those. No, thank you. Not bad. We want those. Big hits, not zeros, please. Oh, shoot. That was bad. I need to get away from this big guy. I don't want to get hit by him at all. I can't afford to take that kind of damage. Ouch. Yeah, we're not going to get this. I also didn't get good spawns with the little guys. Yeah, I, sh I should really just leave, but it's not over yet. We'll try for a little bit more. Maybe we can start not looking guys. There we go. Come on. Damn it. Well, now we got our spawnings. We'll wait for you right here. Oh, there we go. That's a problem. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Hit him. Yes. Okay. We have a sh we have a shot actually. I didn't expect us to have even this much of a shot, to be honest. Hit him. Ooh, it's not a good start. Yeah, we don't we don't have enough food for this. I would love to say that we did, but we don't. Yep, let's get out of here. Man, so close. I guess I should just go get that quest out of the way before I do it, because I could definitely kill him if I had the Cares Partisan. I don't know, I just am not feeling that quest right now, but maybe we'll do it. We'll see. 
Well, Mama didn't raise a quitter, so we are back. I decided to change some things up though, so my tick eating is now Guthic's Rest instead, or Guthic's Rest instead. The reason for that is just because technically it's a little bit more healing, and I didn't really seem to need it last time, the, the tick eating. Um, also, we brought, brought thralls this time, so that should help a ton as well. So we're just gonna jump right into it. See how it goes. Nope. There we go. Get the hit. I thought I thralled. Oh no, I didn't bring the book. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, I was feeling a lot more confident because of the thralls. We don't have them. That's not good. Ooh, well, we'll still give it a try, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. There we go. Keep hitting. Get him this time. We don't need thralls. Yes. Okay. Come on. Ouch. What? I guess it is very soon. Yeah, it's not looking great. Let's get trapped by the time. Forgot the thralls completely. Damn. Alright, we're still gonna try. We got a little bit of food here, so... Who knows? Who knows what could happen? Don't get close to him. Just attack him. Whoa, I forgot. That's right, click. Come on, let's get some hits. Not looking good. Yeah, I do think the thralls can get us there, but... Forgot to bring the thralls. I'm just wasting so much time, though. Like, I could have already had this quest done by now. Do I have everything I need for this quest? Maybe I will just do it. I know the fights are no joke, but... I feel like I could probably get it done at the, these levels. I'm gonna think about it. I might do it. You know, it's funny. I was just talking about how I wanted to ease my way back into things by doing diaries. And now we're gonna do Be Beneath Curse Sands. So, <laughs> not the most dangerous quest left, but it's definitely on this list of the ones left for a reason. So, hopefully this goes smoothly. Well, it's time for the first boss fight. Probably the less dangerous of the two, as long as you just, you know, keep kiting them the entire time, which is what we're gonna do. Doesn't mean we can't die easily though, so we're gonna thrall, and um, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. We have the Guthix Rests, mainly just because of the run energy restore, because I don't think one full thing of run energy is gonna be enough for this, so see how it goes. Oh shit, okay. Well, try not to misclick too much. Could, could make this harder. Oh, once again, I forgot my freaking book for the thralls. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, that's okay. Honestly, I don't think we need it for this fight, but obviously a little bit of assurance would have been nice. Attention to where my prayer's at. 
paying too much attention to my run, not enough to my prayer. We might still run out of some run energy here. That's a big hit. Don't want too many of those. Oh, oh that was okay. But don't take this guy lightly still. We're we're doing fine, but we're starting uh starting to slack a little bit. I could probably kill him before this goes off, but let's just be safe. One more fight to go, baby. The last one, he can hit big hits as well. But honestly, mechanically, it is very simple. So fingers crossed, just stay high health. And this one should be in the bag. Well, it is final boss fight time. I'm feeling pretty good about this, especially if the thralls work now that I remember to bring the Book of the Dead. I don't know if they actually do work or not, but we're about to find out. Actually, let me pre-pot before I talk to her. See if thralls work. No, thralls don't work. Okay, well, hopefully that won't matter. Yeah, no thralls here. Man, I finally remembered to bring it and they don't even work here. At least you do get plenty of time to dodge his thing. Yeah, this fight is definitely way easier than the last one. Honestly, both of these are a lot easier than I was expecting at this level, which is good. I'm not hitting this one at all, though. Jeez. Come on, die. No! No, why didn't I just leave? I knew that that was gonna happen. I'm so stupid. I saw it coming and I was like, it's not that much damage, is it? Oh, why did I do that? Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Uh, I'm upset at myself. I saw it happening and I had it there. What did I do? Why did I do that? Oh, I feel like an idiot. And just like that, it is all over. At the time I'm recording now, it's about three weeks since I have passed to the, the dark side over here. And, you know, I've had a lot of time to reflect and editing the video. I'm not going to lie, there's definitely a lot of parts where I was like, eh, I could just edit the audio out of this part <laughs> because I was just way too cocky and confident. Um, but looking back at the video, um, yeah, there was, I was just asking for it. Um, like I'm doing Calphite Queen with the barrel chest anchor on a hardcore. Like what, what am I doing that for? There's, there's no reason that I need to be doing that. Um, and honestly, I, I wanted to really kind of keep everything in there because there's a lot of foreshadowing as well where I talk about how I'm not going to do dangerous content and then I get straight to doing content that I say I wasn't going to do um but yeah you know 
I thought I was going to grieve this account ending a lot more than I actually did. Obviously, there was a, a little grieving period, but it was really short, like less than a half an hour, I would say. Um, and yeah, I wanted this account to live forever, but I mean, you could just tell in this episode, if you've paid much attention to past episodes, that things were just different. Um, yeah, like, why am I doing Cal Fight Queen with the barrel chest anchor? <laughs> like, there's no reason I should be doing that. Um, and I think the reason I was doing it, also the reason why I'm not super upset about the death is because I think there's just a lot of, uh, you know, really tough things going on in, in my life in the last couple of months. Um, I'm in a very great spot financially and, you know, everything. I'm, I'm stable. But um, I come from a family that there has never been any financial literacy, I would say. And a lot of my family is not doing so well right now. So, you know, it's been weighing heavy on me lately. How can I help them in their situations? Um, and on top of that, I just got during the holidays and actually like five days before <laughs> the death of this account, I had just gotten out of a long term relationship um, and it was the right, it was the right call, um, but it does not make it any easier. And I think um, the first week after that happened, it's very easy to um, just really lean too heavily on RuneScape. You know, when, when things are, are difficult in real life, it's, it's easy to use RuneScape too much as a crutch and not, you know, knock it out and deal with the, the actual things that are happening in real life. And I think the start of the New Year's, I was definitely starting to do that with this account where I was... Um, you know, I was you you playing way too much and not, you know, not focusing on the things that I needed to outside of RuneScape, of course. You know, it's a great game. I love it. I love everything about it. But I think, uh, I think it was telling, just watching this episode back, that it was time for this account to end. And I think it was kind of closing of, of that chapter of my life. And, um, yeah, so I think... I, you know, I didn't mourn this account. I learned a ton. And for this being my first, really, really my first account back after not playing the game for like five years, I'm, you know, super stoked with how it went. Um, and I guess the next question there would be, am I going to start another one? And, you know, I put a lot of thought into this. So this episode, I'm, you know, filming this last part here about close to a month after it actually died, maybe like three and a half weeks. And I wanted to make sure that I took a break. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to do another hardcore or not, or even play RuneScape again in general, to be honest. But I, I wanted to take some time off and really kind of process all the things that are happening in life and, you know, all the change and, you know, reconnect with what's, what's important. Um, so yeah, I took about a month off and, uh, well, I did start another hardcore, and let me just <laughs> pull it up here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do another hardcore, and I'm going to start another series, but I'm not going to just re-go through everything that I just did and, you know, do all of that. My plan is to have, you know, get to the point that I was in, on that last account in maybe the first two to three episodes. Um, and I think I can get there really quick now that I, you know, I've learned so much more after coming back to the game. Um, so this account I just created three days ago, and we've already been going pretty hard, so we've already got 32 quests. So, um, so yeah, I think uh, this one I have an idea for how I want to kind of thematically do things a little differently this time around. So the episodes are going to be a little bit different. The first episode might take a little bit while, a little bit longer for me to actually... Um, put together because um, I have uh, an idea what I want to do with that so yeah so I'm definitely doing another hardcore I yeah I'm sorry it took so long to make another video but you know just processing and do it going through the whole grieving period of the losing the hardcore was uh, you know I guess important but we're back I'm super excited for my new account of course it would be cool to have the old one we're sticking with the, the same name basically one true morty instead of hardcore true morty but 
that's what we're gonna do and yeah i'm you know i don't know how long it'll be until the first episode for this series but i have the plan down so i just need to get to that point and then the uh, episode will be out but yeah i'm not deterred at all from that death i learned a ton in that playthrough and i'm excited to get going on this account and i think honestly i think i can get i played that first one for about six months i think i can get to that same spot in half the time maybe less um because yeah we're already flying through quests it took me like three weeks to get through this many quests the first time and i just did these in three days so we'll, we'll flash the stats nothing too impressive yet but yeah we got the next one started we already got some pretty nice things out of the way and i don't know when the next episode is going to be it'll be a new series focused on this guy of course uh, if you guys watched so far thanks so much for sticking along uh and you know my first hardcore lasted three weeks this one that just died lasted six months so that means this one it has to last at least like three years so we're gonna do some great things with this hardcore so i hope you guys stick around for the uh next series and yeah it's gonna be a little different but i hope you guys enjoy and uh yeah i'll see you guys then